All right, so here we are on the Guardian website. There we go, the Guardian. And then this is the story of City Spin in City, the Maya medieval capital now lost without a trace, with its mathematical layout and earthworks longer than the Great Wall of China. Benin City was one of the best planned cities in the world when London was a place of thievery and murder. So why is nothing left? So it's being compared with London, and it's being called the best planned city in the world. This is a story of a lost medieval city you've probably never heard about. Benin City, originally known as Edo, once the capital of a pre-colonial African empire located in what is now southern Nigeria, the Benin Empire was one of the most oldest and highly developed states in West Africa, dating back to the 11th century. The Guinness Book of World Records described the walls of Benin City and its surrounding kingdom as the world's largest earthworks carried out prior to the mechanical era in the whole world. <laughs> According to the estimates by the new scientist Fred Pierce, Benin City's world were at one point four times longer than the Great Wall of China and consumed a hundred times more material than the Great Pyramid of Cheops, which is the Great Pyramid of Giza. So not only was it long and vast, it was also really expensive. So situated on a plain, Benin City was enclosed by massive walls in the south and deep ditches in the north. Beyond the city walls, numerous further walls were erected that separated the surroundings of the capital into 500 distinct village villages. Pierce Rice said these walls extended for more than 16,000 kilometers in all in a mosaic of more than 500 interconnected settlement boundaries. Wow. They covered 6,500 square kilometers and were all dug by the Edo people, so they were so organized. They took an estimated 150 million hours of digging to construct and were perhaps the largest single architectural phenomenon on the planet. The largest single architectural phenomenon on the planet. <laughs> and nobody knows about it, right? Barely any trace of these walls exist today. Perhaps that's why people don't know about it. But here's a picture of Benin City from 1897. Benin City was also one of the first cities to have a semblance of street lighting. Huge metal lamps, many feet high, were built in place around the city, especially near the King's Palace, fueled by palm oil. Their burning wicks were lit at night to provide illumination for traffic uh, to and from the palace. <clears throat> so there's a lot of oil in this area, and they use that oil to light their streets. When the Portuguese first discovered the city in 1485, they were stunned to find the vast kingdom made of hundreds of interlocked cities and villages in the middle of the African jungle. They called it the Great City of Benin. At a time when there were hardly any other places in Africa that the Europeans acknowledged as a city. <laughs> the Europeans acknowledged, uh, indeed, they classified Benin City as one of the most beautiful and best planned cities in the world. I hadn't seen anything like it. Uh, in 1691, the Portuguese ship cap Captain Lorenco Pinto observed Great Benin, where the king resides, is larger than Lipson. All the streets run straight, and as far as the eye can see, the houses are large, especially that of the king, which is richly decorated and has fine columns. The city is wealthy and industrious. It is so well governed that theft is unknown, and the people live in such security that they have no doors to their houses. In contrast, London at the same time is described by Bruce Hossinger, professor of English at the University of Virginia, as being a city of thievery, prostitution, murder, bribery, thriving, black market trade, and medieval city ripe for exploitation by those with a skill for the quick blade for picking a pocket. So, yeah, before we go into the next part then of this, right, um, it is because of the African fractals that they created a sense or an environment whereby uh, all of this was possible. So let's get into that.